Hello boys and girls and you are here with Sachin sir to understand one more problem in the trigonometry. This is very special problem boys and girls because it will not have LHS and RHS that we used to have regularly. Okay, this, this sum has two sections. One is given section and another one is to prove that section as you can see on the screen. Right. And both the sections have two after the equality and the first step to understand any sum is to observe very 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 clearly and then that will be, that will help you or enlighten you to make your action plan now here our observation says that in the prove that section we have square with the tan and that tan that square is missing with the tan which is given in the given section so our first step of the action plan will be to square both the sides which is given in the uh, given part right and after that we will use identity to open the bracket don't forget identity to open the bracket clear now let's move on with the given section write it down the way it, you, have, you can see on the screen and the way we have first step squaring on both the sides right when the moment we do bracket square we are not supposed to just open it lightly we have to use proper identity and that identity is a plus b the whole square that gives the result tan square a plus 2 into tan a into 1 upon tan a that is 2 into ab clear and then third step third term as a 1 upon tan square a and after the equality we have 2 square as a 4 right observe clearly now here on the screen you can see we can cancel out tan a and then 1 upon tan a as they are in multiplication right they can be cancelled out and we will be left with three terms first is tan square a plus 2 and then 1 upon tan square a right and after the equality 4 will remain untouched and here on we will the sum itself will give us the further push to understand what to do and what to not here the the way we normally do 2 that is term without any trigonometric ratio will be shifted to the 4 and that will send it in negative so we can write tan square a plus 1 upon tan square a equals to 4 minus 2 right and why I shifted that 2 to 4 because 2 was without any trigonometric terms and that, and that will surely result in answer 2 and boys and girls this is our, our very very special moment at which as we are very nearest to the answer we say aha because that is what we needed to prove as if you see the proof part.